today I will feed you Henry and Mudge in the green time. Henry and Mudge in the green time. The picnic. In the summer, Henry and his big dog Mudge like to go on picnics. Henry packs the food. He packs jelly sandwiches, pears, and gringer snaps for himself. He packed dry dog food and popcorn for much. They both drank wa water. On Sunday, they went to the park for a picnic. Henry pulled all the food on a picnic table while Mush chased some ants under a tree. Mush was so big, then his tail went whack. Every time he ran around the tree, whack, 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 Henry laughed at him. Soon they began eating. Henry chews his jelly sandwich while well, he drew, pop, drew pieces of popcorn into Mush's mouth. Mush always liked dessert first on picnics. While they were eating, a yellow bee landed on Henry's pear. Henry didn't see the bee. Henry picked up the pear. Henry cried. Mush jumped. The bee flew away. Ow, ow, ow! Henry cried. He shook his hand again and again and again and again. But his hand hurt more and more. It hurt a lot. Tears came to Henry's eyes. His hand's hand hurt so much. It had a puffy white circle on it. Henry just had to cry. He sat down beside Mush and held on his hurting hand and cried. Mush sniffed Henry's hair. Mush sniffed Henry's hand. Mush put his big nose in Henry's ear. But Henry kept crying. Then Mush licked Henry's face. Mush liked the taste. It was salty. So Mush licked Henry's face again and again. Every tear that Henry cried, Mush licked away. Henry cried, Mush licked. And the hand hurt, but in a while, the hand stopped hurting. Henry stopped crying, and Mush stopped licking. Henry looked at Mush and smiled. Henry picked up a Ginger snap, he took one bite and gave it much the rest. Thanks, said Henry, who wagged his tail and waited for another cookie. The bath. Hot days, Henry liked to give much a bath. Henry liked it because he could play with the water hose and because he could cool off. Mush hated it. Mush knew when he was going to get a bath. He would see Henry looking for the dog shampoo. And when he saw Henry looking at the water hose, he tried to hide under the steps. But it never worked. Henry would take Mush into the front yard in the sun, and he would hose him down. Mush hated it. His eyes dropped. Ears dropped and his tail dropped. Then he was all wet. He looked like a big walrus. Henry laughed at him. Then Henry would soap him up. Henry scrubbed his head and his neck and his back and his chest and his smooch and his legs and 
his tail. Mush really hated this part. It drooped even more. Then Henry holds Mush down again. If but before Henry could grab a towel, before Henry could get Mush dry, Mush always got Henry back. Because when Henry let go, Mush started shaking. His he started with his head. Then he shook his leg and his back and his chest and his nose and his leg and his tail. Mush shook so hard that when he was done, he was most mostly dry and Henry was mostly wet. Then Mush looked at Henry and wagged his tail while Henry dried Henry with the towel. The green time. Beside Henry's house was a big green hill. Late on summer days, Henry and Mush went to the top of the green hill. Hey, they looked down. They saw Henry's white house. They saw Henry's blue bike. They saw Henry's wooden swing. On top of the green hill, Henry felt big. He felt like a king. He saw his things below him and he felt very big. I'm king of the green hill, Henry said. He looked at Mud. You are my dragon, Mush wagged his tail. Your name, Henry said, is Fireball. Mush wagged again. And you are very scary, Henry said. Mush wagged some more. Henry and Henry's Henry and Mush marched all over the top of the green hill. They met other things who had dragons. They chased them away. But met monsters. Mush ate them. They marched and marched till they could march no more. Then they found a magic tree on the green hill. It was a tree for kings and dragons who were tired. Henry and Mudge sat down under the tree. Henry put his arms around Mudge. They were glad for a magic tree. They closed their eyes. And a boy and a dog slept together on the green hill in their green time. Henry, I read you. Henry and Mush in the green time. This is Mush. This is Henry. And this is the flowers. And this is the stick. And I will read you another book next time. Bye!